Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and before we hop in, I'm going to be doing a giveaway for one IP from the 10, one Ulti Dweller, and two Brothers of Legend Nib. All you have to do to enter the giveaway is like the video, comment anything down below, and subscribe. Also, please use my TCG Player affiliate link down below in the description, as all the money I make from that goes directly back into the channel through giveaways, and we are going to see... Moskus with 1,128 rating versus Von Peran with 1,254 rating. So it's going to be another high rated DB video. And with that being said, let's hop right in. We are going to see Von win the rock, paper, scissors, shoot. And then they're going to decide to go first. 40 versus 40. Gotta love to see it. Opening hands. We have the Agent of Life, Neptune, Red, Mystic Mind, the Sanctuary in the Sky, and Master Hyperion. They have Instant Fusion, Planet, Nessie, Planet, Mothman. Okay, I need to read over this because this is the Reborn, right? You can discard this card, especially on one Agent Monster from your hand or grave, except for the Agent Life of Neptune, or if the Sanctuary Sky is on the field, uh, is on the field or in either grave. <laughs> Prepared for the mirror match. Uh, you can special win one Hyperion monster instead. Now your player contribute a monster specialed with this effect until the end of your opponent's turn. If this card is banished, you can add one Sanctuary in the sky from the decks of the hand. Okay, so Agent Sprite. Maybe that's because uh, Shine Ball Venus is cool. Instant Fusion, Summon Kit, Kit Effect, Go Search Salic. And then they're going to activate Planet, uh, Planet, Go Search Rhino. And then kit effect, target itself to tag out, summon out Rhino, Rhino chain link one, planet chain, or Rhino chain link one, kit chain link two. Let's say planet chain link two. Obviously, you can't do that. Um, also, I hate when people have like the thumbs up, keep going thing because you just you can't press like look. I'm pressing like next play, spamming it even, and it won't do anything. What if I press play and then next play? No, the next place thing just doesn't work. That's unfortunate. Yeah, so I had to like press the fast forward and like it lags when it does it. Um, so now we're gonna get a Phoenix and Shaylin effect. So put back Shaylin, Kit, bring out Garua, put back the Huffinus and Chupacabra, bring out Mud Dragon, overlaying the Bahamut Shark, Bahamut Shark effect, attach summon Toad early on, Mothman effect, hitting Salik. Summon, draw the Strudo, Salic effect to go search, grab Shaylin. And then Shaylin effect, summon out, gain rid of the Strudo, mill three, hit Shaylin, Z, Amon, and Mothman. And then we're going to activate the Strudo to summon by losing half our life points. And then get rid of those to go into Curious. Uh, and then we're going to activate Curious 1, Garua 2, draw into Miri. And then Foolish Burial Snow, Curious to Mill 3, uh, Chupacabra, Shailen, Itali, and then Link Off into Appalooza, Nessie Effect, Hit Planet, Summon, Draw into Deer Note, and then Normal Summon Miri, Miri Effect to go Mill. Uh, hit Zephyros, Miri there, uh, Activate Miri, Put Back Miri, Put Back Rua, that's the last name. So now Dracos to Palea, uh, Link Off in the Dark, and then we're going to go Snow Effect, uh, Snow Go Banish to Summon, and then get rid of Snow, Dark Dracos to Palea, make Griffin, uh, Griffin Effect to set Salic, Snow to Summon itself out, and then overlay those, make Redoer, pass, they draw Dark Ruler, and then main phase, activate Dark Ruler, chain Salic, chain Redoer, uh, Redoer, detach Shaylin, tag out, Shaylin effect the fusion now, so put back Shaylin, put back Shaylin, summon out oh, Kit, which I guess it doesn't really matter where it goes, right, because Dark Ruler, uh, Kit effect to go search, grab a Phoenix, and then activate Mystic Mine, pass turn, and I think this is just deck out, right, I mean this comes back, but is this just deck out, uh, they're going to activate the go search, uh, activate one Sanctuary in the Sky from the deck, or search one monster that mentions it. Then if Sanctuary Sky is on the field or in either graveyard, you can gain 500 for each Hyperion and the Agent monster you control. If your monster mentions the Sanctuary in the Sky, or destroy by battle, you can banish the card instead. Okay. Normal Summon Effect. I was going to say, possibly going for the deck out, but going for the deck out is 
a little bit more risky now. It's like people are more prepared for Mystic Mine. I don't know. May, you can't, may, this deck can probably play under. Like, mine when the opponent has five monsters. I'm just not sure. Can't. Oops. Can't use Hauk because Griffin. Yup. Yup. Uh, we're going to go ahead. Get rid of that. Discard to summon out. Banish. Just a special, right? Um... Wait. What? Oh, we're banishing that for this. I forgot. <laughs> yeah, banish the special. Um, then we can get the effect to go search. We choose not to. Okay. Uh, maybe it's because we only played one Sanctuary in the sky and we drew it. This card does kind of seem like a brick. Uh, then we're going to link off in the elf. Elf effect. Summon back out. Summons back out to earth. Now link off, or not link, synchro. Said reading real quick. This is the one that was played in uh, like the base deck for a little while. Um, they're gonna use the effect. Dump. I guess I gotta read over all this. You can send one the agent monster, or one monster that mentions the sanctuary in the sky from your hand, deck, or extract to the graveyard until the end phase. It becomes the original name and replace the effects with this. The other effect is one that's like more commonly known is when your opponent activates a card or effect, you can banish one fairy monster from your hand or graveyard, target one card on the field and banish it. This can banish scythe. Uh, so we're going to dump this. And what does this do exactly? Uh, you can discard one card, add the one sanctuary or one card that lists it. Um, then if it's on field, you can add a new fairy instead. If another face-up fairy monster you control is sent to the graveyard, you can banish one fairy monster from your graveyard, special one fairy from your hand whose level is higher than the banished monster. Okay, so effect, discard the sanctuary in the sky to go search the fallen sanctuary. When this card is activated, set one sanctuary in the sky or one spell trap that mentions it directly from your deck. This card's name becomes a sanctuary in the sky while it's on the field or in your graveyard. You can banish one fairy monster from your graveyard, target one effect monster your opponent controls, and negate it until the end phase. You can only use each effect of it once per turn. Okay, so it's like a stronger imperm. Battle phase, attack. Activate Salic, to negate Elf, Chain, Banish to out Salic. Oh, they shouldn't even have activated anything there, right? That was just a waste. They're going to set the trap. Oh. Oh, that was some pretty bad lag. I'm not going to lie. That was, like, really bad. Um. Okay. Pass to draw Eradicator. And then go main phase. Yeah, good thing they didn't try going for the deck out because like, you just lose to Eradicator, you just lose to Spokane Slew. And then normal summon out Snake. We're going to then link off into a big Zoroboros. Go battle phase. Attack. Activate the Fallen Sanctuary. They're in a chain toad. Chain, they can't because Mystic Mine. So we're gonna go ahead and set that. Replay occurs, no it doesn't, yes it does. Why it does not? Because their, their monsters on the field did not change. Yeah, so they're gonna grab back. Um, yeah, it's there. Well, their monsters still got beat over, so they still need to take the damage for it. Then end phase, mine goes, draw talons. Uh, decide to not set the eradicator, which they definitely could have done. But I guess then it can get hit by zero boros. Uh, standby phase, snow, banish, summon, and then zero boros effect to banish the field. Standby phase, so they can't use elf. Uh, Neptune, discard the special summon back. Oh. But that's just enough for a game. Is this agent monster? Is it? Doesn't it? Um. It's not. Keep reading. Wait. What? Or if the oh, cause it was on their fielder and grave. Yup. Okay. Cause the sanctuary in the sky was in the graveyard there, right? Um. Going on to the next game, 
Opening hands, we have Fallen Sanctuary, Earth, Nib, the Sacred Waters in the Sky, and Earth. They have Deer Note, Foxy, Hafinas, Planet, Jackalope. Go Main Phase, Planet, go search Shaylin. Shaylin Effect, Discard, Hafinas, Summon, Mill 3, Hafinas Effect, Data Infusion. So, put back itself, and Shaylin, Summon Kit, Activate Kit Effect now. Uh, to go search her dump, go search Rhino. Kit effect, target itself, summon out Rhino from hand. Effects will activate Rhino 1, Kit 2, Mill 5, then Foolish. So let's see, off the Mill 5, we have Shaylin, Snow. And we're going to go dump Miri. And then Miri effect, uh, Miri and Shaylin, because we've only used the Hafinas. Put back Shaylin, Kit, bring out Garua. Also, I already know you guys can hear that lawnmower outside. There's just nothing I can do about it. There's so much I just can't do recently. Like, I'm so mad that my computer is not, like, fixed yet. Just because, like, I want to stream so bad and I just can't. Like, this PC, if I tried, it just wouldn't work. It just really wouldn't work. I want to stream so bad. Like, I've wanted to stream bad for, like, like, uh, like two months now. I just can't. So... Well, they're going to go ahead and put back summon out Mud Dragon. And then overlay, make shark, activate nib on summon, pass over the token, and then they're going to get Garua draw. And then Garua draws in the Mothman. Uh, Foxy Tune effect, get rid of itself in Mothman, bring out Ziamen. Okay, so plays multiple Z um, I, I I did not expect this. Okay. They're gonna use the effect to search, no target. Okay. Oh. Uh, and then tribute for Deer Note. Get rid of those. Go for Pepega Ruler. Pepega Ruler effect one. Deer Note two. So Deer Note summon back out Foxy from the graveyard. Mill five. And then we're gonna grab back Hofinus. Next, overlay, make the zombie vampire. Zombie vampire effect, attach both mill four. Uh, we see smashers in blue go down there. Um, and they're gonna mill. I guess there's not really like anything that good. Take Miri. And then Miri effect, mill three. It's Salic. Salic effect to search. So Salic will search another Hafinas. And then Jackalobe effect. Uh, Jackalobe hits Jackalobe. Jackalobe effects summon out the snake from deck. Now I use those. Make Curious. Curious effect the Foolish Destrudo. And then effect the mill 3. Alright. That hits Chupacabra. Instant Fusion. E Telly. Um, activate Snow. Go Banish to summon out. And then, they still have a lot. They have uh, Pepega Ruler Summon, Destrudo Summon, Snow Summons. So get rid of those, make Appalooza. Pastral Slayer, okay. So decides to just, you know, not try to use everything there. Draw Slayer, and then go Standby Phase. Main phase, Slayer to out that. Oh, does this do anything here? I guess it's a fairy in Graveyard. Uh, normal summon Earth. Earth effect, Chain Hafinas. Summon, mill three. That hits Hafinas and Zephyros. We're gonna go search the Agent of Life. And then Hafinas effect. I wanna see Agents just absolutely plow through this. There's no way, right? There's no way they do. I, I, don't, I don't know exactly what they're trying to do here, but probably no way pop dump shaylin shaylin effect put back shaylin mud dragon summon out dragos to Palia. activate that's just so crazy because like, they're playing sprite cards so they could just like summon sprite stuff activate go search master hyperion um yeah because that mentions the uh, so I'm pretty sure you can use it twice. You have to use it twice if it's there. This card's old. This card's also old. Activate the Agent of Life. These cards came out before I even like started 
I don't want to say before I started playing, because that'd be wrong, but before I started taking the game somewhat serious. Summon, and then we're going to banish to summon this out. Um, effect to go search the field spell that we played one of. Go search the sanctuary in the sky. Uh, then they're going to activate snow. So summon out snow. Snow effect to set. Then they admit defeat. Okay. Uh, uh, there's no way we admit defeat there, right? Like, there's got to be a little bit more we could do. Make elf. Elf effect summon back if he doesn't stop. it. overlay for gigantic. Battle phase beat over. Oh, they'd plan it up right. So we have to crash. Oh. Yeah, fair. Go on to game three. We're going to see agents go first. Opening hands. We have talents. Fallen sanctuary. Blue. Lily bell. The, the sacred water in the sky. Lily bell. They're playing this because they play... Light stage. They have Planet, Z, Amon, Salak, Miri, Nib. And then go main phase. Activate to go search. We're going to grab Earth. And then summon Earth. Earth effect to go search. Earth, go search out the Agent of Life. Summon Blue. Blue effect to go search. Blue, go search Jet. And then summon Jet. Jet effect. Go search, we're gonna go search smashers. Uh, link off and the Hulk. Hulk effect to summon. Hulk will now go bring out Diviner. We are at five summons. We're gonna link off in the Elf. Elf effect to summon back out Diviner. And then we can get Diviner effect now to go dump. So, Diviner to dump the Majesty, Hyperion. I gotta read over this one. Uh, you special summon this card from your hand or graveyard by banishing one agent monster from your hand, field, or graveyard. You can only special summon it once per turn this way. Any battle damage you take from battles involving your fairies is also inflicted to your opponent. Oh god, the shine ball crashing. Ah. Once per turn, you can banish one fairy monster from your hand or grave, then target one card and either graveyard banish it. Can use it twice if there's sanctuary. Okay, so this is like Master Hyperion, but banishes from the grave. But also you can summon it from the grave. Which I'm fairly, 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 fairly certain the other one does not do. Otherwise that card would have been broken when it came out. So I don't even have to read it. I already know. Uh, Neptune. I hated the Agent deck along. Like, I think it was like, I don't even remember when it was. But whenever it was supposed to be good, I did not like it. Bring out, banish, to summon, effect to go search the field spell. It's going to grab the sanctuary in the sky. Uh, then they're going to activate Nib before they summon Fleur. Attack metal. And this can't be tributed, right? Because that was summoned off of uh, off this, right? No. It's summoned off something that says it can't be tributed. What is it? It's this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just funny how like it has that, it has that effect for no reason. But, oh, we also get Diviner Summon. It's been so long since I've seen this. The last time I saw, like, Diviner Effect when it was tributed is, like... I forget what kind of hand it is, but it was, like, Drytron. When you open, like, Diviner plus, like, Pre-Prep, I think is what it was. You attribute that Summon Evo from deck, because that was, like, no Drytrons. You attribute that, summon Aver from deck, make that into a Link Karibo to go search. Uh, talents to look at the hand, hit back planet. Leaving him with a trap and two normal summons at the moment. Then we're going to go in the elf. Set, set, pass. Okay, doesn't even make the, the gigantic. I guess we don't want to summon anything from deck, which just... Okay, yeah, I guess we already went through blue, jet... There's just nothing to summon that's... Oh my gosh, they top deck instant fusion. So go main phase, go battle phase. Elf effect to summon back from grave. Summon out diviner. Uh, diviner effect. And then diviner is going to dump elder. Elder effect, pop nib. Normal summon out Z Amon. They said sure, that summons fine. Effect, we're going to chain to banish it. And then we're also going to get the set. Activate instant fusion, pay a thousand, summon kit. 
And now see that, that's, that's very good. Uh, kit effect to go search. It's gonna apply pressure, go search Shaylin. Like I was gonna say, if you, you can do something about this now. Uh, they're gonna go ahead and out that. Otherwise you could just make a Pega Ruler if you wanted to. Uh, Shaylin effect. They probably wouldn't though. They probably still just go like Shaylin, get rid of that. No three. Or, mm, no, a decent chance to make Popega Ruler there. I guess, I guess it also depends, like, how much do they know about the opponent's deck? Because they did have to read this, and they also didn't know that the one guy couldn't be tributed after that. So I'm guessing that they probably don't really know what the opponent's deck does. Uh, bring out Mud Dragon. See Diviners, so like, maybe Scythe Lock. Maybe go in for, like, a turn one Christia. Mud Dragon called Dark, cause like this card, where is it? Oh, never mind, it's not there. Oh, oh it's cause this last game was sent out off the Ultimate Slayer. The Link 2 can search for any fairy, right? If you have this up, so I can go search for Christia. Go in the Dark. Dark effect to take Jet. And then we're going to get rid of those to make Curious. Curious effect to go dump. Uh, curious, dump Shaylin, and then we're gonna get Curious and Shaylin effects. So Shaylin put itself back, and then put back Mud Dragon, bring out Dragos Paleo, mill three, we hit Rhino, Nessie, Miri. And then they said, think here. Uh, we're gonna go Rhino, summon out, gotta get rid of Salak. Rhino one, Salak two. Salak goes search, we're gonna grab Hofinus and then dump. Dump Hafinus, and then Hafinus effect fuse. Put back Hafinus, Shaylin, summon out Garua. How much token attack and defense? And then link off, make zero Boros. Uh, Garua effect the draw. That draws into planet. Uh, snow effect, go banished, summon. Battle phase, attack token, has 54 attack, and then beat over diviner, attack, attack, then main phase 2, overlay on the redoer, uh, 0 Boros 1, redoer 2, and then just gonna wipe the whole board, planet goes search Shaylin for follow up, end phase, redoer comes back, pass, draw jet, standby phase, 0 Boros comes back, but I guess, yeah, you would want to redo her first. Uh, now we can draw one. And then, so draw one, and zero Boros comes back. Draw on the Harpies. Okay, cool. That means so that way we don't lose to, like, some, like, random Mystic Mine here also, which is good. Normal summon out Lily. Special summon out Jet. And then, Jet effect to go search. Jet, go grab starter. They decide to not drop a Phoenix on that. Activate starter. Bring out red. You definitely drop a Phoenix there, right? Because, like, what if they just overlay? I guess if they overlay, make a Gantic, you have snow. You have four, five, six. You can banish one from hand, too. Another one from hand. Summon out, losing 12. You can't summon this because we're locked into starter's restrictions. We should have summoned that before. And that could have definitely made a difference, right? You, you start with this, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You start with this effect on snow. Probably. Yeah. Whoa, I had game but fumbled. You messed up a few times, I think. Sheesh, bro. People, whenever the game ends and they hit you with something like that, it's like, bro. <laughs> Chill. I had I had last turn game two, but it's three twenty. GG GG. GG's. Seeing how long the match was is about fifty seven minutes long. Wow. It's it's cool to watch stuff like the Agent Sprite deck because even though. I, I didn't get, like, a clear grasp of what they're actually trying to go for, though, which is unfortunate. I like seeing that with rogue decks. Like, rogue decks. Okay, what are you going for? What are you doing? How are you, like, achieving your end goal? 
So that way, if I play against it, like, in a tournament or on DB Rated or anything like that, like, then I already have an insight on what they do, how they interact, uh, where I think I should probably hand trap. Because, like, I don't know exactly where I would hand trap this, but... Yeah, I don't even know. It's like hitting Hulk doesn't do anything because Gigantic just does the same thing as Hulk. Just summons Diviner. Uh, Diviner's got to be more important than I'm thinking it is. They'll also have like... Yeah, I don't even know where I'd hand trap this. Not this build. But the Sprite stuff, I have no idea. Just too, too many things going on. But with all that being said... Uh, the DB Grinder signing off. Peace. Have a nice day. Stay safe.